All right, I'm on a bit of a mission today. Um, and the mission is so important, right? I have to find curtains <laughs> for, by curtains, I mean like just a, I'm just gonna get like a sheet. Here's the outfit. <laughs> I just need like a sheet, um, maybe like a, a white one um, with like lace to put over the window in my second, um, in the bathroom. Well, I can't speak. Okay, right. Basically, fucking hell. I need to find a sheet to put over the the window in the bathroom because everyone can see you on the toilet. So, yeah, student living, am I right? So, yeah, I'm gonna go to the charity shops in Stockbridge and see if I can find something that'll work. Um, but yeah, it feels really weird vlogging in public, actually. Um, all right, I shall see you back in a sec. Vlogging is great because it's good practice in just not giving a shit about what people think about you in public, because here I am holding my phone and talking to it in a residential area with like hardly any not really a millennial, but hardly any young people who dress the way I do, holding a camera. I'm sure some people think I'm like TikToking or something. But anyway, it's good practice. Um, and I shall see you at the next charity shop. I think it's gonna be Oxfam. Um, and I used to volunteer at this Oxfam um, for my Duke of Edinburgh award. So let's see if I can avoid seeing anyone I know. <laughs> I did find a bunch of things, um, but I want white, because white will open the space up rather than, I mean, there's this like sheer, sheer purple, but I don't think that's gonna work for me, and I'm getting distracted by all the pretty fabrics, because I can make a really pretty dress out of it, but I'm having to keep my eyes focused, otherwise I will buy everything, <laughs> so yeah, the search continues. All right, update from Oxfam. There's really cute, like, dishware. I don't think I'm gonna buy my dishware from um, Ikea anymore. Like, whenever I need, um, like, crockery, I'm gonna go to charity shops, because you can find some really cute stuff there. And it all kind of looks, looks nice. You know, it feels a little nicer than just, like, Ikea stuff. And I always get my stuff stolen at uni, like, parties and stuff, like, people just, take a glass for their drink and just never like because the night always moves somewhere else like so do your so do your cups you never get them back so yeah i am searching for a um the main point of this is for the curtain but i'm also finding some other things that i'm interested in which is always was always going to be the, th the, the issue it's always going to be I was gonna find other things as well, so hopefully I'll find a, a gem. We'll see. Earlier I said Stockbridge, not Morningside. I'm in Morningside. Um, Stockbridge is actually the place to go for charity shopping. I always find good stuff there. Always, always. Also, I'm wearing <laughs> really, really low-rise um, trousers today. And my pants are just absolutely showing. Um, like, on the sides. Which is fine. It's a little fashion moment. But I think the, um, the sort of older community where I am in Morningside <laughs> probably doesn't appreciate my, my crop top and my low-rise jeans. We shall see. Oh well, I don't really care. Um, right, onwards. Mm, I'm really not having that much luck today. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to shelter. Actually, hmm. I could go to Toll Cross. Toll Cross has really good, um, sometimes has really good stuff. You know what, I'm gonna do that. I've not even been away from the house that long, so. <laughs> Charity shops are underrated. Whenever I go into a charity shop, I beeline it for the jackets, beeline it for the jewelry, and trousers. That's that's 
just where I go. <laughs> um, and it usually always works out for me, but I think it's also the, the, the area, like the, the area that I'm shopping in is mostly 40 plus. Like it's mainly families who have settled down. So the things I'm finding are like old lady and old men stuff. And you know what? You can find some really, really cool pieces and actually designer items um, here. So I, I, I always go anyway, but Toll Cross will be a bit more student-y, a bit more like, um, a bit more indie, I guess. And then I will go to Stockbridge another, another day um, because Stockbridge um, has like a mix of young people and then like posh people. So then there'll be, I don't know, I think Stockbridge is pretty posh. Morningside's definitely more posh, but something about the Stockbridge, something about the stuff in Stockbridge, you get really nice stuff and it's all like very fashionable. So yeah, that's the plan. Going back to shelter to get that necklace now. And then I'm gonna <laughs> toll cross, that's the plan. So this is what I got. Um, this chain, not the flower one, and this chain. Um, this one's not real. You can tell because of the color. And this is, but it's got a kink in it. So it's not the end of the world if it has a little kink in it, you know? It's like a nice little, a nice little V <laughs> and no one's really gonna notice. But if I can find a way to get that, I'm sure there's like a YouTube video about how to gently pry a kink. Ooh, gently pry a kink out of, out of, and um, what am I saying? I totally derailed that. Is that another cherry shop? No, it's a health food store. <laughs> I'm finding it really hard to keep giving you guys updates. Like I'm trying my best to like tell you what stores I'm going to and uh, letting you know how it's going, but oh no, I don't want to get hit. All right. Um, but it's hard to keep track of what I've showed you and what I haven't, and also I'm not having the most success. Please don't run me over. Oh, you signaled wrong. You would have failed your test. I see my next victim. Can you spot it? Um, I just need to wait so I can actually cross the road without dying, so give me a minute. I'm gonna do my best to film in here, but it's gonna be scary because I'll probably be the only one. Hi. Ooh. I saw a dress. I got some funky trousers, but not what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna stop getting distracted and try and find what I actually came for. <laughs> All right, I found some cool camo pants. They were regatta ones, you know, the ones that zip to me to be like shorts. Um, and I really want some more like outdoorsy wear because they're just so durable. Um, and I actually really want like workman's pants, like trousers, I mean, because um, they look, I think they look cool. And um, they would be nice and oversized, but the ones, the pair I found were just way too oversized. So, I had to, oh my god. There's a martial arts gym opening up. <laughs> it's okay, I don't live in Edinburgh anymore, so I can't go there, but it's really convenient that there's another one opening up because uh, I'd love to get back to training. I found it. It's a bit, it's not what I was imagining. But no, this will work, this will work. Five quid, can't go wrong, so. Little fun fact, this is my, right there above the Scott Mid. It's where my old um, boxing, MMA, kickboxing, wrestling gym was. Um, but unfortunately they rented out the space. Why, I, why do I keep doing this? Um, they rented out the space and they got kicked out and they, the people, the landlord sold the, sold the, the space and Scott Mid expanded it into flats. So yeah, sucks. So that's why I haven't trained in like a year and a half. Um, but hoping to get back to it in Manny. So, yeah. Okay, the trip was a lot more successful than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna give you a, a small haul. A 
my small haul. My small haul. Um, so I got this windbreaker. I feel like there's a better place to put you. Hold on. Right, this is the window that I was talking about. There's the toilet. I'm gonna hang this up. I'm sorry, but is that not pretty perfect? Here, look. Ta-da! And then we can just like pin it back when we're not using the bathroom. I'd say that's a cute, relatively cute fix for a gross little student flat accident. Anyway. <laughs> right, so I couldn't find um, a good place to film at the time that I was charity shopping. And I've since also been to Stockbridge, so I thought I'd do like a big haul. Um, the only thing I don't have with me is the jumper, like the like windbreaker thing. Um, but I'll show you everything else, so yeah. All right, so I got this little, it's a kid's shirt, but I thought I could crop it and it would be quite cute, so. Um, yeah, when I get my, my arms back, I'm probably gonna have to cut a slit in the, the arm, but not bad, not bad. All right, next I have this, which I think is really cute. It says, stay sweet, stay high. So pretty on brand for me. Um, and also I got the kink out of the chain. So yeah, um, trust me to pry a kink out of, out of something. I regret that. Okay, um, and then I got these two silver chains. So there's one thicker one and one Thinner. They're actually both the same length, but if I knot this one in the back, then it hangs like that, which is cute. Then I got these, um, they're just, my room's a mess, so look at that. Um, now I'm not going to tie it up because it takes effort, but my favorite find was this corset. Um, unfortunately, I'm not busty enough to fill, especially since going to the gym. Um, to fill it out, but I'm sure I can figure some sort of sewing thing in the back that would tighten it. But it's pretty cute. And that was not a fart, it was my socks on the floor. Okay, the last few things. I found this really cute little velvet top. It's got a little crisscross here. Um, and these, hold on. All right, I'm gonna have to put this down here so I can show you. But these are the trousers. Thank you. I, I wasn't lying when I said uh, Stockbridge always has the best things. It really does. I always come back with some really fun new clothes. And the last thing I found was just this like, what do you call this? Like a little lace top, but unfortunately my arms do not fit in there. So what I'll do is I'll sew like a slit all the way and then I'll put ribbons. I'll probably make a thrift flip video soon. Um, so this will probably be in it. But I think that was the only thing that I bought that didn't fit or like I didn't like. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.